Hi there, Fred FR5ED with a beer review. Today, Left Hand Brewing, Fade to Black, Volume 5. All right, Fade to Black is a series, uh, apparently, from Left Hand Brewing, and of course, very renowned company with a lot of great products. Um, this one is number five in a series. Um, they, they range from porters to Baltic porters to... Uh, Oh gosh, one classification of, I think it was uh, volume two, I think it was a vegetable spice, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, they kind of get rated in different, different, uh, different genres. This one on rate beer says it's a specialty grain because the full name is left hand fade to black volume five black rye ale. That's the full name. On Beer Advocate, instead of classifying it as a specialty grain, they, they classify it as an American Black Ale. I haven't heard of American Black Ale as a specialty, but hey. Anyway, um, interestingly, and I want to point out something interesting here. This is 7.8% ABV, um, and I'll read the commercial description here in a second. But I want to point out something. The, the title is Black Rye Ale. You know, it's, it's Fade to Black Volume 5 Black Rye, R-Y-E, Rye Ale. But on the bottle, let's read this. It says ingredients, Rocky Mountain water, malted barley, malted wheat, hops, and yeast. It doesn't say there's any rye in it at all, yet it's in the name. And also, let me read you the commercial description. So a little lengthy, I'll try to read it quickly. Summer is over, but cheer up pretty people. It's time for the newest installment to our Fade to Black series. This rye ale, R-Y-E, rye ale, boasts a deep dark brown body with an off-white head. This dark brew envelops your nose with aromas of dark coffee, maple, wood, and hints of dark agave nectar. The flavor is an intense evolution that starts off with nut bread flowing into molasses, followed by a taste of licorice. This lands on spicy rye notes, uh, all before being washed away by an earthy hop, leaving behind a slight black peppery sensation. So put away the bathing suits, pop a bottle of this black beauty, and watch summer fade away. So I'm interested to see what's going to happen here. It is rated. Now get this. On, on uh, Rate Beer, and this is after just 122 ratings, uh, because th this is a one-time thing. I guess they do these volumes, and then they're gone. So this one is here, and it'll be gone. Uh, it's after 122 ratings on Rate Beer. It's 95 overall and 98 in style, whatever that style is specialty grain. Uh, on Beer Advocate, after 136 ratings, uh, it scored an 87, which is very good. Uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm curious to try this. Well, knowing that it's, it's, it's in the dark range, and they mentioned porters, and, and some person here mentioned stout, I'm going with, and on the bottle it says, um, somewhere it says, uh, Enjoy at 50 to 55 degrees, and I think I'm close to 55 here, uh, in a goblet. Well, this is Brandy Snifter. We're close to a goblet. I'm going with this. All right. Oh, yeah, very dark. Oh, reddish, reddish brown, dark, 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 uh, like a burgundy brown color with the light coming through the stream that's being poured. Uh, let's see if I can get a little bit of a head going there. Okay, managed about a half of a finger head there. I was being kind of gentle. But it is very, very dark. I could see the light coming through the stream as it poured. And it was a blackish brown, but with a very uh, mahogany, you know, cherry reddish, dark red, black cherry color in there. Okay. Hard to tell if it's clear or not. It looked clear in the stream that was pouring from the bottle. Um, let's give it a smell. By the way, that, oh, I got an aroma just as I moved the glass past my nose. Uh, it's a... a a very dark khaki, light tan colored head on there. So many aromas going on. Hang on. Okay, there's a sweet dark chocolatey smell. Definitely some coffee espresso notes. Some dark toasted bread. <laughs> hey, this is wonderful. Almost like molasses and, and dark, dark caramel. Dark is an operative word here. Wow, that smells wonderful. It smells like a really good imperial stout. 
Well, anyway, who knows what it really is. Let's taste it. Oh, that is nice. And it's just the right temperature. I mean, it is probably approaching 60. Okay, the taste. First of all, the mouthfeel is a little... You know, a little above medium. I would say it's medium heavy. Oh, it is so smooth. Um, there's no no startling bitterness like from an IPA or from some real dark roasted malt um, stouts uh, and porters. It's it's like a smooth dark. It's pretty dry. It's not as dry as a lot of rye based IPAs that I've had. See, and again, it doesn't say there's any rye in it, but they talk, they put it in the title and the description. So I'm not sure where the rye comes in, but uh, I don't find it as dry. It's not totally dry. It's It's got a little bit of a, a smooth, you know, just a touch of sweetness to balance it out. Wow, I find that very, very nice. And it's, it's not as rich and complex as in a, an imperial stout. Um, it's, it's a little lighter, more like a porter, but uh, I, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I would highly recommend this. This is Fade to Black Volume 5 Black Rye Ale, Rye Ale from Left Hand Brewing Company. There it is, and this is Fred, FR5ED. Oh.